Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the retouching process mainly I'll show you the dodge and burn process and which is really good and uh, which is really uh, effective for uh, portrait retouching so already suppose you know how to retouch but you don't know how to dodge and burn so this dodge and burn is most important for the portrait retouching so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon now at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl or command j this one is another layer and i'll edit over there so before that i want to do color correction or uh, you can do the color correction at first then you can do the dodge and burn but i'll suggest you to do the dodge and burn at first then do the color grading now uh, i will make the dodge and burn two layers and one is the shadow and one is the highlight i'm using the short name is an h the turning of the h and just selecting s you have to make it the blending mode into multiply so make it multiply at first then go to the blending options from there you can slide this bar and this one uh, just remember one thing when you are working with the shadow just just turn or you can work with the lights in this portion so press alter option button divide this one and matching it this one okay after that just mask it out and after masking that go to the image options and of, after that apply image so here and make it invert okay nice and now in the highlight portion what we'll do now we'll do another one just making it screen mode right press blending options from here now we'll work with the darker portion of the slider so press alter option button and adjust the highlight with the face okay and hit okay after that mask it out and after that go to the image apply image in this portion turn off the invert portion and hit okay so you are getting two things the shadow and highlight select these two things making it group now just mask it out again going to the image and apply image now hit the okay button so what are we doing here one is the shadow and another the highlight so you are getting the changes before and after now you can work with this that means you can work with the opacity if you don't need too much opacity you can't do that okay fine before and after now press ctrl or command j again and selecting these two things making it group and making it smart object just because of in future we need to adjust lights and everything uh, it could be that's why i'm making it convert to smart object it will help me out when you are uh, pressing in the smart object icon it will open up a new new window and after opening up new window you can work with that easily so that's why i made it into smart object now i'll go to the filter and camera filter now i'll do the color correction in this camera plugins you know camera filter is another plugins of the photoshop if you need these plugins please check out my video description and i'm using the photoshop 2020 one version so please update your version to similar to uh, my one okay fine from here i will make it a little bit cool and from here i will make it vibrance down and then exposure a little bit down and highlight a little bit up and the whites a little bit up shadow a little bit up okay and the blacks i'll make it down so before and after now i'm doing the gradually in the color corrections from here i'm adding some blacks value that's fine texture i'll make it a little bit up 9 or 10 is good and clarity i'll make it down a little bit so the changes the before and after 
okay fine now the dehaze options i'll make it dehaze plus two that's fine for me and the curves from here i'll make the curves a little bit down like that and a little bit upper in this portion so when you are going to the upper side you are getting the lights uh, and the down portion you are getting the uh, darker portion or shadow so in the red portion or red uh, curves you are getting the red in upper side and uh, aqua in down side so now i'm going to the color mixture again from here i'll enhance the uh, lips color so red i'll increase in the saturation one thing is that hue saturation luminance these three things is hue is which color will be saturation uh, percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color so i'm adding a little bit down of the intensity that is minus 19 that's why you're getting the highlighted of the lips uh, that means the lipstick so in orange in a face i'm making it up for the luminance and yellow up uh, not too much otherwise it will be overexposed so i'll make it a little bit down saturated that's fine okay and that's good now the color grading color grading depends on three things the shadow highlight and mid tones so these three things are that the darker area is shadow uh, too much not too much darker area is a mid tone uh, like uh, under the uh, chin or this portion and the highlight the enlightened area that is the highlight okay fine uh, in this portion you are getting too much um, uh, highlight or uh, overexposed in a uh, cheek that's why i'm going to here and making the highlight a little bit down it will make the neutralized portion okay we were in this color grading portion now what color will be in the shadow so adding some saturation that means the percentage of the color and now gradually i'm changing the color from the color palette so this one hue is the color palette which color will be it defines with that so i'm making the saturation a little bit down and which color will be so it could be like this that's fine the mid tone adding some saturation percentage and which color will be you have to define i think this is good and the highlight portion what color will be in the highlight it's really important for that so i think in the shadow portion i should change it up so that's fine let's see the before one and after one you're getting like that now calibration so here is the hue again so i'm making it a little bit yellowish and down the saturation the green green portion you are getting the green primary like this and the here the blue primary you are getting like this so the saturation down here saturation again down i want to make it a little bit like a, a golden but too much not too much golden and the color mixture red i'll make it up and luminance a little bit up that's fine the hue color will be like this so totally different before and after you're getting too much uh, nice things now basic portion uh, i'll add a little bit uh, cool again mm, i think minus five is good and the tint i will make the tint like this so let's see before and after and moderated color and, and everything so i'm saving these settings and i'll provide you these settings or xmp file in my video description so don't worry about that you can download this one and you can use that so i'm using the name beauty so uh, you can use this uh, preset for your practice purpose or your uh, like uh, photography editing purpose not in commercial purpose so don't forget to give the credit line of me and one thing is that uh, this example light or photo light and your photography light couldn't be same so for that reason uh, this that means the uh, like here uh, going to the filter again and camera of filter so after adding the preset you are getting uh, these type of panels and you can uh, edit all the panels according to your photography this is the technique to use the preset uh, when you are buying or when you are collecting the preset from the youtube channels and the other photographers like that after that i'm going to the filter again and nick collection color fix pro 4 this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description this one is favorite to me just because of 
Here are lots of uh, methods and other steps which is really good for the photo editing. I am from here cross processing I am using or here is cross balance lots of uh, things you can try it out which is uh, convenient for you I don't know actually I think this one is good here is the strength options you can apply the strength I am using the 33 that's fine and hit the ok button it's taking time to load it up and providing my the output the before one and after one hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel for this type of amazing tutorials for the learning photographies like photo editing photo manipulation logo design and graphic design etc stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well until the next video i am saying today bye bye